Okay, good morning and welcome to Mishnah Yomi. Today we're doing Paraches, Mishnah Ayos, Beis, and Gimel. Mishnah Beis says, V'chulam Shai says, Shum B'Zal P'yam. We learned in the previous Mishnah Ayos, previous Mishnah, that it, if you found out retroactively that you're not entitled to each Shuma, so whether you have to pay back or not pay back, here, in the middle of eating the Shuma, they tell you you're not supposed to be eating Shuma, had in your mouth, you put it in your mouth, you started chewing it, you swallow. Or those are you blew, you could swallow. Or show Omer, you flow to. He said you could swallow. The Yachin Boa says, but you still have to pay the Karen Chomish. I don't know if that's true. He sure says you flow to, you have to spit it out. Amrlo Nitmes, Vinitmes, Truma. They said you're Tame, or the Truma is Tame, right? You can't eat Truma with Tuma. Those are Omer, once you put it in your mouth, you flow, right? You already did it. The Achila is putting it in your mouth, not the swallowing. We show Omer. If though is to spit it out, the eating is a swallowing. Tame aisa, tame aisa, either your tame or the truma's tame, aida truma, no da shu tevel, my serisha, and shall nit the shumasa, and she had a shall niftu, or shatam tam pishpe, shall talk pe, or raise a year float. Here they're not saying in the middle, right? You put it in his mouth, and now you became tame. Here they're talking about, they're saying you were tame before you put it in your mouth. Or what you put in your mouth was tevel or ma'isa rishon without taking on truma or hektish. So at, even with the time of the inception, when you put in your mouth, you were telling me you don't have to put in your mouth. Everyone agrees you have to spit it out. Mishnah Gimel. Haya ochal be'eshkol v'nechnas minagina lechutz. Are you eating a, a cluster of grapes? And you go in from the garden, right? Most people they have gardens in the front of their house, and they have a backyard in the back of their house, which is fenced in usually. So it goes if you. Right, you're allowed to, you're allowed a snack from your, your produce. It's not considered tevel. You're not allowed, you're allowed a snack from it uh, until it becomes keva, until it becomes uh, hukba the trumos and maestros, until it becomes destined that you're chayiv and take off trumos and maestros. What point? There's different ways of making a chayiv and trumos and maestros. One way is to go into your chatzer. When you bring it to the chatzer to your yard, so then it's like personally yours. And then you're chayiv and trumos and maestros. And you can't even snack from it. So now you're, you're eating in your garden. Your garden is not your per, is not is not considered so much bile as your front yard. There's no fence around usually. Well, those are Omer Yigmor, and you go and you go into the chutzner. Now the chutzner is kovas It makes you chayiv shulam So you can't take a snack, but you already started eating it. So it says if you want, you can go out. Go, you can't finish it in the yard in the back yard, but you can go back to the front yard and finish it there. We show Omer lo Yigmor. No, once it went into the chutzner, you can't eat anymore. Chashcha leili Shabbos, a different way, right? You're eating from a figure, a cluster of grapes, and then Shabbos comes. Now Shabbos also, the Gemara in Beitzel learns that it's kovas lemeiser. It says whatever you're eating now is called achilas keva, and you can't eat, you can't snack from it. Rabbi Shua Omer Yigmar, Shua says you could finish it after Shabbos. That's not the Yigmar. He says you can't. The opposite. He says in this case you can't figure out what is. We pass Rabbi Shua both of these halachas. What's the difference in the first halacha? And the second halacha, that you will find out in Ion Amishnah coming up next.